Story name: The Lost City of Zeta. Chapter 1: The Discovery. Professor Jameson had been studying ancient civilizations for over 20 years. He had always been fascinated by the lost cities of the world and had spent much of his career traveling to remote corners of the earth in search of them. But there was one city that had always eluded him, Zeta. The legend of Zeta had been passed down through generations of storytellers. It was said to be a city of unparalleled beauty and wealth, hidden deep in the jungles of South America. The few explorers who had claimed to have seen it spoke of gold and precious gems that sparkled like stars in the sunlight. Jameson had never put much stock in the stories. He believed that most of them were exaggerated, if not outright fabrications. But one day, while studying an ancient manuscript in a dusty old library in Brazil, he stumbled upon a clue that would change everything. The manuscript was a diary kept by a Spanish conquistador named Francisco de Orellana. Orellana had been sent on an expedition to find the mythical city of gold, El Dorado. But what he found instead was something far more extraordinary. According to the diary, Orellana and his men stumbled upon a city unlike any they had ever seen. The buildings were made of shimmering white stone. and the streets were lined with trees that bore fruit unlike anything they had tasted before the people who lived there were beautiful and kind and they welcomed the spaniards with open arms but orellana and his men were not content to simply admire the city's beauty they wanted its treasures and so they looted the city of everything they could carry and then burned it to the ground The diary entry ended abruptly, leaving Jameson with more questions than answers. He was determined to find out more about this lost city of Zeta. Chapter 2: The Expedition. Jameson spent the next few years gathering information and resources for his expedition. He assembled a team of experts in archaeology, anthropology, and geology, as well as a group of skilled guides and trackers. They set out from a small town on the edge of the Amazon rainforest, determined to find Zeta. The journey was grueling. The team had to hack their way through thick jungle undergrowth, cross ragging rivers, and fend off swarms of insects. But they pressed on, fueled by the hope of finding something truly remarkable. After weeks of travel, they finally arrived at a clearing in the jungle. In the center of the clearing stood a single towering tree. Jameson approached it and studied the markings on its trunk. He recognized them immediately. They were the same symbols that had been etched into the stones of an ancient temple he had visited in Mexico years before. Excitedly, he signaled to his team to follow him. They pushed through the dense undergrowth and soon found themselves in a clearing unlike any they had seen before. The ground was covered in sparkling white stones, and the trees were draped in vines that bore fruit unlike anything they had tasted before. As they made their way through the clearing, they suddenly heard the sound of drums. It was a rhythmic, pulsing beat that seemed to come from all around them. They followed the sound until they came to a massive stone archway. Beyond the archway was a city unlike any they had ever seen. The buildings were made of shimmering white stone, just as Orellana had described, and the streets were lined with trees that bore fruit unlike anything they had tasted before. And the people who lived there were beautiful and kind, just as the diary had said. Chapter 3: The Bee Tree. The team couldn't believe their eyes. They had found Zeta. The people of Zeta welcomed the team with open arms, offering them food, water, and a place to rest. Jameson was overjoyed at the discovery, but he knew that they needed to be cautious. He had read the diary entry about Orellana and his men, and he didn't want to make the same mistake. As the team settled in, they began to explore the city. Everywhere they looked, there were signs of a once great civilization. There were temples with intricate carvings, marketplaces filled with exotic goods, and grand homes with lush gardens. And at the heart of the city was a massive palace, the likes of which Jameson had never seen. 
But as the days passed, Jameson began to notice that something was amiss. The people of Zeta were friendly enough, but they seemed to be hiding something. He tried to talk to them about their history and their customs, but they were evasive. He wondered if they were hiding something. One day, while exploring the palace, Jameson stumbled upon a secret room. Inside, he found ancient texts and artifacts that had been hidden away. As he began to study them, he realized the truth. Zeta was not just a lost city, but a city that had been deliberately hidden. The people of Zeta had been guarding a great secret, a powerful artifact that had been hidden away for centuries. The artifact had the power to change the course of history, and the people of Zeta had been entrusted with protecting it at all costs. But there were others who knew of the artifact's power, and they would stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Jameson realized that they had been betrayed. Chapter 4: The Escape Jameson knew that they had to leave Zeta immediately. They had been discovered, and the people who had betrayed them would be coming for them soon. He gathered his team and told them what he had learned. They began to prepare for their escape. But as they were making their way out of the city, they were ambushed by a group of armed men. Jameson recognized them immediately as the same men who had burned down Zeta all those years ago. A fierce battle ensued. Jameson and his team fought with all their might, but they were outnumbered. Just as it seemed as though all hope was lost, a group of Zetarians appeared. They fought alongside the team, driving the attackers back. In the chaos, Jameson caught a glimpse of the artifact. It was a small, shimmering orb, pulsing with energy. He knew that they couldn't leave it behind. With the help of the Zetarians, Jameson and his team were able to escape. As they made their way back through the jungle, Jameson couldn't help but feel a sense of sadness. Zeta had been a beautiful city, filled with kind and gracious people. And now, it was lost once again. But he also knew that they had discovered something truly remarkable. The artifact they had taken with them had the power to change the world. And as they made their way back to civilization, Jameson knew that their discovery would be remembered for generations to come. Chapter 5 The Aftermath After their harrowing escape from Zeta, Jameson and his team returned to civilization. They immediately reported their discovery to the authorities, and soon, a team of archaeologists and researchers was dispatched to the site. The artifact that Jameson had taken with him was studied extensively, and it was found to be a source of incredible energy. The orb was able to power entire cities, and its potential was limitless. But with such power came great responsibility. The artifact had to be kept safe and secure, lest it fall into the wrong hands. A team of experts was tasked with keeping watch over it, and it was never allowed to leave their site. As news of the discovery spread, people from all over the world flocked to see the artifact for themselves. It became a symbol of hope and progress, a shining beacon of what humanity was capable of achieving. And as for Jameson and his team, they were hailed as heroes. They had discovered something truly remarkable, and they had risked everything to bring it back to civilization. Their names would go down in history books, and their legacy would inspire generations to come. But for Jameson, the memory of Zetar would always linger. He knew that the city and its people were forever lost, and he couldn't help but wonder what other secrets lay hidden in the vast jungles of the world. As he looked out at the bustling city around him, he knew that he had been part of something truly extraordinary. And he knew that he would never forget the adventure that had changed his life forever. Chapter 6 A New Adventure Years had passed since Jameson's discovery of Zeta, but the memory of that fateful expedition still burned brightly in his mind. Despite all that he had accomplished since then, he couldn't help but feel restless. He knew that he was meant for something more, something greater. One day, while sitting in his office, Jameson received a letter. 
It was addressed to him and came from a remote location in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. The letter was from an old friend, a fellow explorer who had stumbled upon a mysterious temple deep in the jungle. The message was cryptic, but Jameson knew what it meant. He was being called to a new adventure, one that would take him to the ends of the earth in search of something truly remarkable. Without hesitation, Jameson set out on his journey. He traveled for weeks through the dense jungle, fighting his way through the underbrush and fending off wild animals at every turn. Finally, he arrived at the temple. It was an imposing structure, its walls covered in intricate carvings and symbols. As he entered the temple, Jameson felt a strange energy coursing through his body. He knew that he was on the verge of something incredible. He explored the temple, studying its every nook and cranny. He was searching for something, anything that might give him a clue as to what his friend had discovered. And then, he found it. In a hidden chamber deep within the temple, Jameson discovered a strange device. It was unlike anything he had ever seen before, a glowing orb that pulsed with a strange energy. He knew that he had found something truly remarkable. As he studied the device, Jameson realized that it was more powerful than anything he had ever encountered before. With its power, he could change the world. But he also knew that he had to be careful. Such power came with great responsibility, and he couldn't let it fall into the wrong hands. And so, Jameson set out on a new adventure. With the device in hand, he journeyed to the farthest corners of the earth, searching for answers and uncovering hidden secrets along the way. He faced countless dangers, fought impossible battles, and explored mysterious ruins. But he knew that he was destined for greatness, that his journey was leading him towards something truly extraordinary. And as he looked out at the vast expanse of the world before him, Jameson knew that he was on the cusp of something truly remarkable. He was an explorer, a seeker of truth and knowledge, and nothing would stand in his way. Chapter 7 – The Final Journey Years passed, and Jameson grew older. He had seen and done things that most people could only dream of, but he still felt that there was one more adventure waiting for him. He had heard rumors of a lost city, hidden deep within the Himalayan mountains. It was said to be a place of untold riches and unimaginable power, a city that had been built by ancient gods. Jameson knew that this was his final journey, his last chance to discover something truly remarkable. And so, he set out on the most dangerous and treacherous expedition of his life. The journey was grueling, and many times Jameson thought that he would never make it. He battled fierce storms and crossed treacherous terrain, fighting off wild animals and fending off attackers at every turn. But he persevered, driven by the knowledge that he was on the verge of something truly incredible. And finally, he arrived at the lost city. It was unlike anything he had ever seen before. The city was built on a massive scale, its walls towering high into the sky. As he explored its winding streets and hidden alleyways, Jameson knew that he had stumbled upon something truly remarkable. And then, he found it. A chamber deep within the city, hidden behind a massive door made of solid gold. Inside the chamber was a strange device, unlike anything Jameson had ever seen before. It was a glowing orb, pulsing with a strange energy. As Jameson studied the device, he realized that it was more powerful than anything he had ever encountered before. With its power, he could change the world. But he also knew that he had to be careful. Such power came with great responsibility, and he couldn't let it fall into the wrong hands. And so, Jameson made the decision to destroy the device. He knew that it was too dangerous to be left in the world, that it could cause untold destruction if it fell into the wrong hands. And with that, Jameson's final journey came to an end. He had discovered something truly remarkable, but he knew that it was too dangerous to be left in the world. And so, 
he made the ultimate sacrifice, destroying the device and ensuring that it would never fall into the wrong hands. As he looked out at the vast expanse of the world before him, Jameson knew that he had done the right thing. He had lived a life of adventure and discovery, and he had left his mark on the world. And with that, he turned and walked away, content in the knowledge that he had fulfilled his destiny. Epilogue Years had passed since Jameson's final journey, and the world had changed. The stories of his adventures had become the stuff of legend, inspiring generations of explorers to seek out their own adventures and discover the mysteries of the world. The lost city that Jameson had discovered had become a tourist attraction, drawing visitors from all over the world who marveled at its ancient walls and winding streets. But even as the world changed around him, Jameson remained the same. He still lived in his modest apartment in the city, surrounded by the artifacts of his adventures. And even in his old age, he still had the spark of adventure in his eyes. He would regale anyone who would listen with tales of his exploits, and he would encourage them to seek out their own adventures. And so, Jameson became a legend in his own time, a symbol of the courage and bravery that it takes to explore the unknown and discover the secrets of the world. As he lay on his deathbed, surrounded by his loved ones, Jameson looked back on his life with pride. He had lived a life of adventure and discovery, and he had left his mark on the world. And as his spirit slipped away, carried off on a final journey of its own, Jameson knew that he had fulfilled his destiny and that he had left the world a better place than he had found it.